Hey everyone, welcome to St. Christopher's Sunday School. Today we are doing the video for December 27th and we are talking about John 1, 1 through 9. Um, I hope you all had an awesome Christmas Day holiday. Something really cool that I learned this year that I'm excited to share with you is that Christmas is not just one day. So we all celebrate Christmas on the 25th, but that's actually just the start of the Christmas season. Christmas actually goes until January 5th, and then something called the Epiphany starts. So actually, you guys can keep, we can keep celebrating Christmas until January 5th. How cool is that? So, which you'll see in, in our craft that we're going to do, we're going to keep the spirit of Christmas going because it's actually still going. Um, let's jump right into our reading for today. We are still talking about John, John the Baptist, and we've got another really cool story about him. So it is called Jesus the Word. And where's my guy? Oh, here he is. Look, he's helping do a, it's kind of hidden in the, book. There he is. He's helping do a baptism. How cute is that? Okay. Jesus the Word. I want you guys to be able to see the pictures. When John the Baptist baptized people, he always talked about Jesus, even though he'd never met Jesus. As John dipped his hands into the cold, clear water, he said, Jesus was sent to be God's Word. Jesus knows everything God wants to tell us. As John baptized people, he said, Jesus will bring truth and grace to everyone on earth. He baptized people who wanted to follow Jesus and live the life God wanted them to live. Some people didn't believe him, but John kept talking to everyone he met. When John finally got to meet Jesus, he was so excited. He told everyone, this is Jesus, the man I've been talking about. And God sent Jesus to teach us. Hooray. Awesome. So we learned that Jesus is, was sent to be God's word. And Jesus knows everything God wants to tell us. So that brings us to our word, which is ironically the word. And... So let's see, do I have your journal for today? Uh, let's see, I do not have a journal for you today. So I think what I'd like you to do is a freestyle journal on what you're grateful for from Christmas. So from the day of Christmas, and how are you going to keep the spirit of Christmas going through January 5th and throughout the year, but especially through the rest of the Christmas season? How are you going to keep the Christmas spirit alive? All right, so a little journal for you to write. Then we will go to our craft, and we are talking about the word. So in the story, we learned that Jesus is sent to be God's word. So what Jesus said, God is speaking through Jesus. And so we have this famous quote here. This is the quote, if you were in the pageant, you might remember this was in the beginning of the pageant. It's from John 1, 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So God is the word, and the word is actually um, the Bible. So we know who God is and what he teaches us through learning the Bible. We are going to do, um, it's like, I kind of called it paper mache, but I don't think this is actually paper mache, um, but it's gift, like a paper cross. So um, one thing that I would say that I would do differently from mine is I would make this cross a little bit bigger um, because these little guys ended up being really puffy 
So that you may get a more defined cross by making it slightly bigger. So what you need for our craft is um, the red and green gift paper, tissue paper that you got in your bag. You will need a scissors. You guys, if I left my glue stick again, this glue stick gives me more trouble. I think I did, so we're just going to do an imaginary. Sticking it on. Okay. Um, you will need... So where's my ruler? Oh, boy, you guys. Okay. So I used um, a second sheet of that shiny paper that you should have in your bag. It's like a um, cardstock paper that was shiny. We used it for our angel's faces. You may have. You could use anything you want for your angel. But um, So if you have this paper, great. Otherwise, you're welcome to do it on any paper you want. You do not have to follow the example exactly as how I'm doing it. The other thing I will say, which I did not bring in here, um, is I used a ruler to do my cross. So I drew the cross first, and I drew it with a pencil, and I used a ruler to try and get the edges really straight. You certainly do not have to do it that way. I know I just needed a little bit of help, so I used a ruler to draw my cross. Since I did not bring one in here, now if you don't have a ruler, you can get clever, like I have a clipboard here, and I can use that as a surface to help me get a straight line. So just get creative. And as I said, one thing that I would do differently is make my cross a lot bigger than the one that I made um, my example on. So I'm doing that right now. You can't see it because uh, of the way the camera is angled, but I'll show you as soon as I have it. And I'm just using the different sides of this clipboard um, to help me make a straight line. Straight lines. And I'm actually going really fast, so they're not even turning out as straight as I would hope they would be, but it's totally fine if they're not. Do not worry about it. So we're going around and around to get our lines. Oops, and that one's not straight, and that's okay. Okay, so, um, see, and you can see mine's kind of imperfect, and that's totally fine. Um, then you take your tissue paper, and what I found to be helpful was to cut strips and then um, cut them in smaller pieces. So, for example, here, I'm cutting a strip of the tissue paper, and then within each strip, I went and I cut little pieces. So your pieces are going to end up about this size. And um, you're going to scrunch them up, like say, and then I put the glue on first. So I did a nice coat of glue first, and then I put, I pasted them on like this. And obviously, as you see, I went and I did it all the way around. And then once you have your first layer, you can go and fill in some empty spots, like, you know, maybe right in here I have a little spot where you can still see a line. Maybe you put a little extra um, paper there. So wherever, once you do your first round of stick-on gift paper, then you go in and you put a little extra. See, there's a little bit, maybe an open spot right here I could have done. It's kind of hidden. But if you want to fill it in, you can do more. Again, I recommend going a little bit bigger um, in the cross because these guys are so fluffy, they end up making these little arms of the cross look smaller. And then I went ahead and I put the quote uh, from John 1, which is, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So I put that on here, this quote from the Bible, to decorate it. You don't have to, but it is part of our lesson. We're talking about the Word, so I think it's a good quote to have. And there you go. Ta-da. All right. 
So, um, your action items for this week, what you can do is I'd like you to look at your Advent Challenge checklist and see what you have left that you have not checked off yet. Um, I should actually go through, because I think I've done a lot of these. Um, and check them off. And if you have something that you haven't done yet, let's figure out how you can still do it. You can always still practice the Lord's Prayer. Um, you can uh, join the Pen Pal if you'd like to join. We'd love to have you. Um, you can always still be kind to someone in need. If you didn't do a Thanksgiving card, and it, I wish I had also said Thanksgiving or Christmas card, because a lot of you guys did Christmas cards. So I did not write Christmas card, I should have. Um, if you want to fill in, check off because you made a Christmas card, I would love that. You guys made just beautiful Christmas cards. Our parishioners are loving them. I already got one call about how wonderful and special they were. Thank you so much. Um, the end total, we ended up having 44 cards, you guys. 44 Christmas cards. I asked for 23. That was amazing. So I ended up getting to send it to so many more people than I thought I was going to have enough cards for. And you just made so many people's Christmas a little bit more special. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So definitely check off um, if you made a, a Christmas card. If you didn't make Thanksgiving, count the Christmas one. I'll take it. Um, okay, so for your action item, go through your checklist and see what you can check off and what still needs to be checked off. Then also, just a reminder, you have your inserts and we're talking all about John and the word became flesh. So it's the same lesson, the same story we just did, but there's a little bit more to learn here and you can learn through playing some kind of cute games. Awesome. All right, let's end with our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you so much, you guys. We'll see you soon.